Honor Blackman carved out a remarkable legacy in film, television, and theater. She captivated audiences with her performances and iconic roles. But amidst her illustrious career, there was one co-star whom Blackman famously didn't care for. Join Factsverse as we present Honor Blackman Revealed the Co-Star She Hated the Most. Early Life Honor Blackman, born August 22, 1925, was a renowned British actress, best known for roles in film, television, and theater. She was born in Plastow, a district in East London, as the daughter of a civil servant, Frederick Blackman, and his wife, Edith Eliza Stokes. She grew up in a modest household during the interwar period, facing the economic hardships and uncertainties of the time. Despite these challenges, her family instilled in her a strong work ethic and a passion for the arts. During her formative years, she discovered her love for acting and performance. She attended the Guildhall School of Music and Drama in London, where she honed her skills and developed a deep appreciation for the craft. Her breakthrough came in the 1940s, when she started landing roles in theater productions. Her natural charisma, striking beauty, and undeniable talent quickly caught the attention of audiences and critics alike. She garnered acclaim for her performances on the stage, earning a reputation as a versatile and captivating actress. In the early 50s, she transitioned to film, making her screen debut in the crime drama Fame is the Spur in 1952. She continued to impress with performances in various genres, ranging from thrillers to comedies. But it was her role as Kathy Gale in the iconic British television series The Avengers that propelled her to international fame and solidified her status as a cultural icon. Career Highlights Honor Blackman's career was defined by a series of remarkable highlights. One of her most iconic roles came in the 60s, playing Kathy Gale in The Avengers. As Gale, Blackman broke new ground, embodying a strong, independent female character who was as capable in combat as she was in intellect, earning her a place in television history. Following her success on the small screen, she transitioned to the big screen, where she delivered memorable performances in several notable films. Perhaps her most enduring role came in the James Bond film Goldfinger, where she portrayed the sultry and resourceful Bond girl Pussy Galore. Her portrayal of Galore solidified her status as a sex symbol and cemented her place in the pantheon of Bond actresses. Additionally, Blackman's talent extended to the stage, where she showcased her versatility in various theatrical productions, earning critical acclaim. Personal Life Honor experienced various relationships and marriages. She was married twice, in fact. Her first marriage was to Bill Sankey, a Royal Navy officer, in 1948. But that marriage ended in divorce in 1956. In 61, she married actor Morris Kaufman, with whom she had appeared in the film Ferry to Hong Kong in 1959. They remained together until Kaufman's death in 1997. Their relationship was marked by mutual support and affection, with Kaufman often accompanying Blackman to premieres and events throughout their decades-long marriage. While Blackman did not have any biological children of her own, she became a stepmother to Kaufman's two sons from his previous marriage, adopting a nurturing role in their lives. She cherished her role as a stepmother and was known for her warmth and kindness towards her family. She valued her privacy, so details about her personal relationships were not extensively publicized. But her enduring partnership with Morris Kaufman and dedication to being a stepmom exemplified the depth of her personal connections and importance of family in her life. Her Final Years in the last decade of her life, Honor continued to remain active and engaged, though her pace in the entertainment industry had slowed. She focused on spending time with loved ones and pursuing her interests outside of acting. While she didn't take on as many acting roles in later years, Blackman made occasional appearances on television and in films, often guest-starring roles or cameo appearances. She remained connected to her roots in theater, occasionally participating in stage productions and theater events. She was involved in various philanthropic endeavors and continued to support charitable causes close to her heart. She used her platform to advocate for animal rights, environmental conservation, and other social issues, leveraging her influence to make a positive impact on the world. As she aged, Blackman embraced a quieter lifestyle, enjoying leisurely pursuits like reading, painting, and spending time outdoors. She cherished moments with the family and friends, relishing the simple joys of life. Sadly, she passed away April 5, 2020, at age 94. She died peacefully at her home in Lewis, East Sussex, surrounded by loved ones. Co-Star Beef Shala Co. is a 1968 Western film directed by Edward Dimitrik, based on the novel of the same name by Louis L'Amour. 
The film boasts a star-studded cast, including Honor Blackman and Bridget Bardot in prominent roles, adding to its allure and anticipation. Set in the American West, it follows the story of a European hunting party led by Sir Charles Daggett, played by Peter Van Eyck, and Countess Irina Lazar, portrayed by Bardot. Their expedition takes a perilous turn when they encroach upon Apache territory, angering the Native American tribe led by Chief Chato, played by Stephen Boyd. As tensions escalate, the group finds themselves in a fight for survival against both the Apache warriors and the harsh desert landscape. Honor Blackman played the character of Lady Julia Daggett, the strong-willed and resourceful wife of Sir Charles Daggett. Her character was a voice of reason amidst the chaos, displaying resilience and determination in the face of danger. Took on the role of Countess Irina Lazar, a glamorous and spirited member of the hunting party. As tensions rise and conflicts unfold, Lazar becomes embroiled in perilous events, adding an additional layer of intrigue and drama to the narrative. The inclusion of both Honor Blackman and Bridget Bardot brought together two iconic actresses from different backgrounds, adding to the film's appeal and generating significant buzz. However, it wasn't exactly a fun experience for Blackman, at least in terms of working with Bardot. Blackman was quoted as saying, Isn't it strange how people go? She had, what is that word that people use these days? Drives me mad. Issues. She had issues. By which is meant problems. So clearly Blackman wasn't a fan. She went on to say, quote, Bardo seems to have done a volt face from being a great sex symbol to someone who doesn't care about her appearance, only her animals. And then she added, quote, Bardo didn't really get to know anyone on the set because she was surrounded by people to look after her. She shouldn't be left alone, you see, because she had recently attempted suicide. I think she was frightened because it was her first film outside France. It was a nightmare, really. Blackman and Sean Connery Blackman had nothing but kind things to say about her time on set with Sean Connery, but she took issue with his later decisions. In a 2012 interview, she talked about how she felt he had betrayed the UK by working only in the US. Said Blackman, quote, I don't think you should accept a title from a country and then pay absolutely no tax towards it. He wants it both ways. I don't think his principles are very high. However, while she disapproved of his choices later, she admitted to having a great time working with him and being incredibly attracted to him as well. She didn't make a move on Connery because she was married at the time. But, said Blackman, quote, it was very tempting. He was so sexy. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you surprised at Honor Blackman's opinion of Bridget Bardot? Let us know in the comments section below.